Yeah, man. So I'm back here to finish up. After changing the DVR, <laughs> this morning I've got a problem with the power supply. And then I'm asking myself, why do I keep having these problems? I realized since the renovations were made, uh, we are now in a hot box. And also with the cameras, the way they were installed, it was such a bad job. So with also the box now, everything is getting hot. So the DVR gets hot. But the current issue why things are not working is because of this power supply here. So I'm going to switch it on quickly for you. So everything is so messed up. You have to be extra careful. You see, first you get that that little click, click, click. And then if you check inside, there's that malfunction there. So what I also did is I removed all the cables to check if, say, one cable is shorting. Nah, so the problem is nothing to do with here. The problem is actually here on the main tent. I see that one of the caps is swollen and also just by switching off here, if you check the main tank there, it has a flickering on it. So the power supply is dead. So by we changing that power supply, of course, we sort out the so power. Again here, this is where the issue is. So as you can see, it's flickering there. So it's faulty now and uh, there is a cap here that's swollen, this one, the big yeah, one. Yeah, it's just the heat uh, causing the hardware to malfunction. Uh, the router boards, they're happy um, because not much really is going on there. But yeah, for this thing, so it's not This yet. is what I took out. Uh, we're going to change this power supply. So phase one has been now completed, phase two. Phase three is to remove everything from here so that we can at least save hardware. We don't have to change hardware every time here. Uh, this light also don't really help because it's one of the major issues why everything is hot up here. Uh, the DVR, I have made it now sit up straight so that it does not really get that hot. This door, I'm not even going to close it in the size of the box because then if I close it, then everything just gets hotter. Tomorrow when I'm coming through, uh, let me put a fan in here so that it can at least blow some cold air so that things can be steady here. Yeah, this is just sweat from this light as well. So there is a whole amount of heat here and also the pizza oven is still hot. So all the air just comes in. So here is where the cameras are supposed to talk to the DVR. So some cameras are not connecting properly because these joints here uh some of them are loose i mean this is so old. so as i'm finalizing this uh you may ask yourself what was i doing all this time when we have to switch on the cameras i have to unscrew everything from here and screw everything back on here and then for the dvr to work i have to plug in the other remainder of the camera network cables into these little things here some of them are old, um, the cable is not touching nicely. So you find that some cameras are not seeing nice because of just poor connections here. So while everything is looking cool, I had to put two fans here. One blowing from the front of the DVR and the other one from the back so that the DVR can actually cool off here. And I can say already it's cooling off actually because it was quite hot when I got here. Yesterday was worse. And also by closing this enclosure, it makes things even way worse. So I'm sure I'll be able to save the hardware uh, for the next two weeks. But uh, yeah, proper way to resolve this is to move this whole thing away from here. So that the hot box situation uh, does not damage our hardware further. But uh, all good, Live Connect Africa. We work hard for you.